hi welcome back to a new lesson in this lesson i am going to show you the data processing and the data movement instruction set in avr microcontroller in previous lesson i had shown you in and the out type of instruction which we need to in and out type of instruction which we can operate on the sfr registers as we know there are two type of registers sfr register that is the special function register and general purpose register so for general purpose register we had instruction set such as lds and the sds and the ldi however if we want to load and store a data from and into sfr special function register we had to use in and out type of instruction set but in this lesson we are going to take few more instruction set such as data processing and the data movement so the first instruction which we are going to discuss in this lesson that is the move instruction set and if i say if i ask you to tell about uh, the instruction set syntax then it's the move and then there is two registers you can say here the rd and the rs so this is you can say the destination register and here this is the source register for example you can say move r4 r3 in this case sorry r4 and r3 in this case r4 will be loaded from the content of r3 right we can understand it in a better way let's say if we write a write another instruction let's say the ldi uh, ldi r uh, r19 however uh, as you know the ldi only works from r16 to r31 so let's say ldi r19 we are loading the data with 0x31 and if we say here the move r4 r19 in this case r4 will be loaded will be loaded with a 0x31 right great so this is the first instruction the next instruction which we are going to discuss that is the inc this means increment by 1 increment by 1 that's in the value of register will be increased by 1 such as if we say inc r4 let's say after this execution then the r4 will be 0x31 plus 0x01 which is equivalent to 0x32 so the increment always increment the resistor by 1 and the similarly we have another three you can say the another instruction that is the decrement dec so this decrement by one that's when the minus one and if we apply here this instruction set into r4 deck r4 then r4 will be here is the updated value 0x32 minus 0x01 which will be 0x31 once again right so here you can see ink and the deck so this is the kind of the add instruction but the add by one and here this is the subtract instruction by one now we are going to take another instruction that is the sub so let's say if we say the sub that's the subtract instruction and it's <coughs> it's syntax is a as follows rd and rr or rs you can say so here is the destination register and this is the source register so in this case what happened rd 
will be updated with the rd minus rr so that means if we say here sub r4 and here you see the r19 was loaded with the 3 1 r19 so in this case what will happen if we take r4 from here so the r4 is already 0 uh, 0x31 so r4 will be equal to 0x31 minus the value of r19 which we had from here that is itself 0x31 that means r4 will be updated with the 0x00 value and in this case in the status program register z will be 0 that's the flag register we will discuss into next video and the similarly we have another instruction set such as let's say it's a 5 such as add the similarly we can operate on rd and rr and we have here the another instruction set in a similar way that is the adc rd and rr so the difference between add and the adc is add simply add rd and the rr together however the adc this that's mean add with carry in this case what happened it makes rd is equal to rd plus rr and plus 1 if carry otherwise 0 ok or 0 so if there is carry in a previous operation then it will add 1 by automatically otherwise it will add nothing so that's the difference in adc and add instruction then we have here the logical instruction set and those logical instruction set are and eor that is the xor and the or instruction set so these are the some instruction set in the logical instruction set and the some other type of instruction set such as sbc that's the subtract with carry okay and another one of course we had discussed this sub that the subtract instruction set we will take these instruction set in the very detail you know on our later uh, tutorials apart from this there are few more instruction set such as the clr clr clears the bit clr rd it clears the register rd we have another instruction set that's the com if we see the com rd then it do the once complement of the instruction uh, of the register let's say if r4 0 1 0 0 1 0 0 and the 0 and if we say the com r4 then after this instruction r4 will become 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 1 okay so it will simply the complement and apart from this we have few more instruction set such as neg that is the negative that's when the two is complement then we have here the rotate left that's the rol and then we have rotate right that's the ror we have here lsl that is the logical shift left lsr logical shift right we have here the asr that is the arithmetic shift right and then of course we have here the swap swap is kind of a, a very interesting instruction set here so if we say here a instruction uh, a register is loaded with let's say the higher byte and here the lower byte after the swap instruction 
the register will swap its nibble that means l will come here and the h will go there okay so this is the swap instruction set right so this is all about in this lesson in which we had learned few instruction set such as the move instruction set ink decrement subtract add instruction set and or sbc sub so we will uh, we will take these instruction set into the very detail in our further tutorials so stay tuned and please subscribe this channel so that you can get updates directly into your inbox bye bye have a nice day